Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Now, today's vlog is a really rare oddity. So today's vlog is going to be the only vlog that is filmed entirely on my phone because my camera has no battery and I forgot to charge it last night. Wow, I'm such a good vlogger. <laughs> but I'm doing just my face, just a typical face. So Mark Jacobs. Um, primer. Oh, this is so cold. It is so cold outside. I'm like, why can't somebody make like a primer that just adapts to the temperature you're living in so that if it's cold, it gives you a little bit of a heat sense sensation. Not just cold all the time, but you know what? Who knows? Who knows who will invent that? <laughs> um, okay. Or could. Good. Stuck in my face. Um, today's agenda is pretty jam-packed. Hopefully it is not as chaotic as yesterday. Now we're gonna go in with the foundation we bought yesterday, which is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Foundation. And I don't know how good this foundation will be. I've never purchased foundation from a drugstore. Except for the Target one. But Target isn't really considered a drugstore, so I don't really call it a drugstore. So, let me just... Yeah, that looks like my shade. Okay, so... Oh, that does not look like my shade on camera. Okay, well, if it's lighter, we can always just bronze it out, so. Oh, no, 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 that is not my shade. Okay. Hold on. We can fix this. We can fix this. It's a lot lighter, definitely. It is a lot lighter, but. Like, in real life, it looks good, so. Where? Ugh, like. On camera looks horrible. Um, we're just gonna have to work with what we got. We're just gonna have to work with what we got. Um, where else can I put you guys so that I can see the mirror? Um, yeah, I guess right here. That's so light. It came out. I mean, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. It looks good. Also, it does oxidize. Okay, so I've been shopping a bit for Christmas stuff, and I went to Sephora, obviously. To make a pit stop there, but thankfully I got something that I was looking for, which I'm so happy about. And then I bought a few other things, but it's all for the outfit. It's all for the outfit, and uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. All right, so I'm back home, back on my camera. I can't show you what's in in any of these bags, especially the Macy's one, because that's where both of the pants are, so I can't show you that. But I can show you what's in the Sephora bag. So I did go to Sephora again. And basically, I got something that I've been looking for for quite a long time. Um, ever since Christmas started for the tree, actually. So I got myself this ornament with a beauty eponge in it. If you don't know what I said there, it is sponge in French. So I got myself this like little star with the beauty eponge. And I'm going to put it... Um, yeah, we're putting it on the tree. <laughs> we're putting it on the tree. Um... <laughs> Huh, where should we put it? It's like literally like December 21st and I'm still putting ornaments in the tree. Um, you know what? It's gonna go... Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> wow. Like literally, there's no more space in this tree. Um, thank God I never bought any more ornaments. Um, uh, I really have no idea. You know what? Right here. We're putting it right here. I think that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. No, I don't like it there. I don't like it there at all. So, oh, it's hard. It's hard to find a place for this ornament. It's so pretty. I, I want to put it on the tree. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Maybe here there's some spots available. There's some vacant spots. Uh, maybe right here, like right next to this one. Yeah, it looks good there. Actually, I actually I like it there. Okay, I like it there. Okay, we picked a good place for it. Okay, everything else is pretty. Once Christmas is done, I'm obviously gonna use this La Beauty Eponge. But, I also went to Zara. I can't show you what's in the Zara bag, all of it. 
but I can show you one thing I got for Christmas and New Year's. I got myself a new pair of socks because I was like, you know what, let's get ourselves a new pair of socks. So I got myself these pairs of socks, well, one pair of socks, an individual pair of socks. It's glittery, it's shiny, nobody's ever going to see it on me because it's socks. Um, but I got myself a, a shirt, I think this is going to be the Christmas shirt. Christmas pants, New Year's pants. I have the New Year's top already. I think I decided which I'm going to use. And then the uh, Christmas pants, which just look... Ugh! This Christmas outfit, by the way. This year's Christmas outfit is going to be the most extra, the most over-the-top, the most craziest Christmas outfit I've ever had on for any Christmas. Because I typically... Ooh, look at the highlight. Because I typically go very demure for Christmas. This year, ooh! We went all out for Christmas this year, so I'm excited to show you that. So I just finished watching Bird Box, which if you don't know, Bird Box is the new Netflix film that came out today with Sandra Bullock and Sarah Paulson. And honestly, people have been saying that it was like a quiet place. And it is, the concept of the film is to an extent like a quiet place where you're in a quiet place. If they hear you, you die. And this film, Bird Box, if you see them, you die. If you see it you die because it transforms into your worst nightmare and that's pretty much what the entity does in this uh film is that if you go outside with your eyes open the entity will become your worst nightmare and then with a quiet place if you make any sudden noises that monster will come to you and kill you so it is similar in concept however i think the storyline is so much more different it's not so much of jump scares i will tell you that the film is not so much of like jump scares and like oh my god it's not like the nun like the nun was full of jump scares this film is not full of jump scares but it does give you like anxiety and you're like on the edge of your seat and like oh my god what is gonna happen like oh my god no it's that kind of horror film uh, but it's a really good one i will admit it's a really good film like all in all it's a really good film and i do recommend you guys go see it it's on netflix right now and um it's a great film i love it however now i'm gonna do another face mask yesterday i did the super mud today i'm gonna do the gravity mud i want to do maybe the pink sparkle one or the purple one i'm like sounding like george's new one i know um but i don't know which one i want to do so let me see let me check my choices for today um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do the pink sparkle one. You know what? Yeah, let's do the pink sparkle one. And let's put three more pictures on Instagram and get a hundred more likes. So, I'm gonna put you guys here. I don't know why I keep putting you guys here. It's like the shittiest lighting, but it says shake and squeeze to mix before use. Okay, so we're squeezing. Let's shake it up. Shake and squeezing. We're still squeezing. We're still squeezing. All right. Use twice a week. Great. <laughs> Lamp glow brush as you cannot see. But we're gonna try this pink sparkle one on. Please tell me that a lot of it's gonna come off. Please tell me it's sealed. Great, it's sealed. <laughs> I was like, please tell me it's sealed. Okay. Okay. Ah! I got my neck. got inside my nail bed. Okay. So we've got it there. This pink sparkle. <laughs> and Jojo, if you're watching this, it's the pure color. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, girl. That is pink sparkle. Oh my gosh, it smells like the other one I had. Okay, so this one's like a peel off. Okay. Huh. You know, I'm going to have to do this in the mirror because I can't do this here. Zoom in. And there we go. Oh, wow. This is everything. I love this. I love this. This is my new favorite set. <laughs> Okay, so more pinkle, pinkle, pink sparkles. <laughs> so, I'm gonna look like the girls section at every toy department and every store just barfed on me completely, so. I look like I just got a chemical peel or like I got microbladed from afar. Oh my god, it's okay, that's way too good. There's no time limit on this, it's just until it is really dry, so. I don't know how long, but typically it's like a 20 to 30 minute wait.
Oh my gosh, Jojo Siwa would be so proud of me. Every little girl in America, little girls, if you're watching this, this is what you do when you get older. You put all the pink glitter, glitter sparkles. Oh my God, I look so blue here. You put all the pink glitter sparkles you grew up with okay, on your so face and it's supposed to make really you look younger. Long. Oh my God, I think literally. Okay, so it looks like a coat of two face and two 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 I guess. Um, so so my phone has not shut <laughs> off and like, I want to take a couple Instagram oh my pictures. God. Maybe oh my get a couple God, that is a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> okay, so people really seem to like when I do face masks. I mean, I can't deny that they don't like this one because this one is so pretty. So basically, guys, if you want to be famous on Instagram, just put on face masks and take pictures of it in a really beautiful, artistic way. It's not even an artistic way. Um, oh my god. My phone, it's been about like 30 seconds. My phone has not shut off, which is crazy. Like, it's on charge right now. It, it, it turns off for like a millisecond, pops back on. Turns off, back on. Turns off, back on. It's crazy um but thank you so much to everybody who like likes the pictures i'm gonna have to link my youtube channel <laughs> so that people start watching these videos as well but i've had this mask on for hmm i guess about a good 10 minutes it's like 1 45 so i'm gonna keep it on until 2 then I'll wash the rest of my face i actually really like this one i had this one, i'm pretty sure y'all remember i had this one in the year of the dog edition when they put it out i think this year well next year i mean What's there left of 2018? Like a couple days. <laughs> um, there's literally how many days is there left in 2018? There's like nine days left in 2018. Like that is crazy. Like just think about it. There is nine days left in 2018. This year went by so quickly. I don't want to do my whole speech on the year. I want to save that for the final day of Vlogmas, which is in like three days. Which is so sad. Also, um, there should be a new cover up today on my YouTube channel. It's uh, it's a really beautiful cover, actually. It's a, it's a song that I don't think anybody would expect me to do. But it's a song by an artist called Lauren Dago, Daigle. And the song is called You Say. And it is a Christian faith song. Holy crap. The Instagram is not stop. Um, but it is a um, faith song. It is a Christian faith song. And I don't really like to talk about this because people are really funny with religion. People are really funny when it comes to people's beliefs. Some people agree with it. Some people don't agree with it. You do you, sis. You do you. I don't really care what you do with your life. Um, I'm not a part of your life. I don't control your life. Therefore, I... So yeah, I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a person of faith, and this song is just so beautiful to me. And it is something, it's not just about it being a Christian song, it's not just about mm -hmm. it being a gospel song. On I think channel, this is a I song don't really like to talk about, about it because, like I said, a feeling that everybody really, feels at one point really in their life. About it, and I think this like. song is a lot about, you know, sometimes feeling really worthless and hopeless, and you feel like you're not enough, you feel like you're nothing, you feel like nobody around you you know values you and trusts you and respects you and this song you know talks about how in the chorus it says you say i am loved when i can't feel a thing and you say i am strong when i think i am weak and you say i am held when i am falling short and when i don't belong you say i am yours so it's the song is a lot about finding where you fit in and finding the outlet where you believe that you belong finding the outlet where you feel loved where you feel comfort where you feel empowered and that's what this song means to me and so i know a lot of people might be a bit like oh my gosh she's doing a christian song oh my god um but it's it's a song about it's a song about human emotion it's definitely a song about human emotion this got deep sis um but oh my god god oh my god my phone has not turned off i'm so sorry why am i trending like why am i even trending <laughs> all right guys so i also should announce that the Christmas outfit is officially picked out. Like, the whole Christmas outfit is picked out. Like, I just like, assembled it together. It looks stunning. Like, oh my god, it looks stunning. Also, the face mask is completely dry. 
for every angle, so I think it's time to take... You were worth 100 likes. <laughs> you were worth the 100 likes. Also, what I'm loving right now is that as I'm peeling it off, there's no residue of the glitter left on my face. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but it's so pretty awesome how they did that. And also, there's no residue of the actual face mask on my face, which is... Wait, I have some bit of residue of the glitter on my face, on my face, on my hair, but that's fine. There's a bit of residue on my forehead, but it's all good, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. 